Hello guys. Um, I'm in PTS right now. Uh, I tried uh, my best to make the same character as my original one, uh, but they don't give us uh, armor master and footman. So I'm just Manstrom shield, sword, two hundred whatever endurance, hist park, and engine guardian. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just. Uh, I will try to explain you how I see things in a Dragon Knights tanking perspective, uh, mostly in PvE. Uh, but we're gonna uh, take a look at every change uh, that affects combat. So, uh, but I won't be uh, doing other classes uh, changes. So this is only for DK. Okay then, uh, let's just start. Um, Ardent Flame uh, standard is the same. There's no change in it. Unrelenting Grip is the same. Now this is very nice. I like this very much. Uh, but Dunmer Stamina DKs may uh, they will it will increase their DPS of course, but they won't get the uh, damage bonus from the passive. So. Uh, if you are leveling a downward DK, just drop it and go for Red Guard or Khajiit, I don't know. Okay. Now, it deals poison damage instead of flame. So that's it, nothing else. Uh, this one is again deal poison instead of flame. Uh, no change in it. Uh, this one, now, it was giving only burning, now it gives burning plus poison damage. Uh, also, this one was increasing uh, AV damage of flame abilities. Now it also increased poison, like this one. Um, I'm just gonna use the skill, uh, open the skills I use. I don't think there's there's any change here. Um, yeah, this one changed a bit. I think they increased uh, this skill's explosion damage, but no one will use it because we have a very good buff here, major mending. Um, so, but uh, the nerf they did to this uh, is not exactly a nerf because we don't use it for the shield it gives, uh, because the shield it gives is absolute garbage. So. Uh, we're just using it for the major mending, so it doesn't affect the uh, it doesn't affect any combat. Just uh, we're using it for helping ants also, not only uh, major mending. Yeah, uh, no change in this, no change in this. Uh, just some attacks deal uh, poison. By the way, I may. Uh, skip some changes in Dragon Knight. I just uh, focused on the changes that uh, concerns myself. Okay, uh, I don't give a shit about other changes. Um, skill changes. I think they increased the damage of cleave. Um, uh, Wrecking Blow doesn't do stun anymore. The other morph does, but Wrecking Blow still gives the. Um, <laughs> I'll just show you. Uh, Dizzying Swing gives the stun and knockback, but Wrecking Blow still gives the empower, so for more DPS, you should go with Wrecking Blow. Uh, I think PvP in PvP, stamina decays will still go with Wrecking Blow because we have fossilized, so fuck it. Uh, they did some change in forward momentum. I don't know what they changed. Uh, no one uses it because shuffle man. What? I I don't know why someone use that. Whatever. Okay, Pierce Armor, Heroic Slash, Absorb Magic. Uh, there's a change right here for PvP. Uh, this one doesn't stun anymore. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it was buggy as hell. Uh, it was still buggy. It didn't get fixed, so they just change it. 
they should have done this before it just it deals uh, nearly twice more damage uh, and also applies major defile uh, I'm still using this in PvP uh, the other morph when you block something uh, your next power slam will hit for 25% more damage but major defiled you can't miss that uh, I don't think there's any change here okay dual wields branding slashes okay uh, rapid strikes uh, I think this is a huge buff uh, the the um, the patch notes say it should deal the uh, same DPS but uh, if you have maelstrom weapons you will be applying your dots easier uh, you should see the speed on this it is just insane I, I, I can't even uh, say anything uh, now this was increasing your weapon damage by 10% now uh, I'm sorry 20% for 10 seconds now it's 20 seconds no one is using it I don't think anyone will use again just use potions man. Uh, they increase the damage of poison injection uh, poison arrow actually both morphs deal more damage 12% I guess uh, now again uh, another debuff to uh, downmers uh, this is actually a buff uh, now it deal physical damage right uh, but uh, this arrow barrage is now absolute garbage and you should take this one reduce cost more duration this is just range and radius I don't know why someone would pick this just take this one and continue Uh, about the change it has uh, it was dealing flame damage uh, now it deals physical damage and no ground AOE just uh, physical damage okay light armor uh, this active was uh, only absorbing magical attacks now it absorbs everything uh, I can't recall if there is any change in passives I don't think there is any I'm gonna get evasion of course I don't think there's any change here either no change in removal but we got a debuff to heavy armor I'm talking about PvE tanking okay in PvP it's very good buff actually uh, resolve is the same as you see I'm using 5 piece heavy armor and I'm getting uh, 1800 armor uh, constitution now it gives very nice uh, magic and stamina <coughs> uh, I'm using 5 piece heavy uh, and as you see 930 they increased it by a lot uh, my original character was getting uh, 250 some around uh, that number now just look at this 930 this is a huge increase in sustain uh, now this is also nice you get 2% uh, per heavy armor equipped instead of 1% so this is a 5% increase if you have uh, 5 piece heavy armor uh, this is uh, for me at least absolute garbage because I don't do any damage so uh, this is good for PvP uh, but uh, no for PvE no uh, how much weapon damage it gives 200 okay that's okay uh, I like this passive uh, more healing received and uh, but this is not useful at all in trials increase magic and stamina your heavy attack restore uh, in normal and veteran dungeons it's very good uh, but in trials just no uh, you won't be using heavy attacks man whatever uh, dumbbreaker got a nerf uh, smiting and 
Tom Rick doesn't do increase damage to Dydra or Undead, uh, but uh, they add something here. Uh, not only Dumbbreaker does increase damage, all of these attacks does increase damage against um, Undead or Dydra. <coughs> Uh, also, stamina cost of fighter build abilities are reduced by 20%. Now let's talk about this again. Uh, it was 8% weapon damage increase, now it's 5%. Uh, Silver Vaults, uh, they nerfed this because uh, people were, were one-shotting vampires and vampires were crying in the forums, uh, whatever. Uh, this was stunning uh, the vampires so they removed the stun uh, and they just it just deals physical damage I think it was dealing uh, magic damage I'm not sure about this I may be wrong I don't use this a lot but uh, I know they removed the stun this is same I think they did change something in evil hunter <coughs> now, uh, it acts like um, inner light, mage light. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't activate this to proc it for more damage uh, or stamina return. You just put this on your bar and uh, get it over it. Okay, but uh, people will still take evil hunter instead of camouflage because. Stamina DDs, all DDs using rearming trap. So, uh, Evil Hunter doesn't proc anymore. Uh, you don't have to even activate it while active. Your fighter build abilities cost 28% less stamina. But I don't think anyone will use it. Uh, just put this on your bar and get it over it. Uh, rearming trap, there's no change still increase your critical strike damage uh, now there's a uh, change in this one uh, it was giving 9% okay weapon damage I think it, this was giving spell damage as well I'm not sure about this one I think this this was giving spell damage as well now it only gives weapon damage but uh, it was giving 9% now it gives 3% for each ability so uh, it's the same actually but because we're using rearming trap evil hunter and flawless time breaker uh, uh, but rearming trap was on our back bar so we lose something there but doesn't matter yeah just like normal uh, not increase not incredible changes they did some change in this one, but I'm not sure what they did change. I don't give a fuck about it. Uh, Thief build, undaunted. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, now this one deals poison damage instead of magic. I'm not sure about this change. This skill I like very much for trial healing. Uh, just put this on the ground, and it will. Everyone will heal themselves for 46 seconds. Uh, this is just insane for the uh, boss fights where everyone stack together you know just put this on the ground and the the radius is very good as well is that a casting oh shit it's a casting okay it doesn't matter just put this and you're done you don't need to do uh, it will uh, decrease the pressure on the healer a lot because more damage you do, more healing you get. So, uh, if DPS is good, uh, healer will feel less pressure. Okay, this is very nice. I like this change. Uh, bone shield. Um, I don't know why they did this change. I I really don't know why. <coughs> uh, this is normally 
30% because we are in Suradil it shows as 15% of your maximum stamina uh, this will be a, a little bit uh, overpowered because stamina characters can roll dodge a lot can block a lot can CC break a lot and you are giving them a shield <coughs> let's let's just see how um, uh, this is very low for me but imagine any stamina DPS they will have 35k stamina and it will be very larger enemies doesn't matter these are same I don't think there's any change in necrotic orb uh, warhorn is same just take aggressive These are same. Uh, they decrease the damage of magic detonation. Uh, I think this was necessary because single target 7k magic detonation hits is just uh, just not f normal, I guess. Uh, they did change guard, but I don't think anyone will use it. Uh, the thing I don't like about races are uh, this one. Uh, I thought they would uh, put poison as well in this one because uh, Kajit and Dunmer are the best two options for stamina DK. Now, all Dunmers are fucked right now if you are stamina dps because you are uh, getting half of your dps from flame abilities and you you just lost scorch art and unstable flame i i'm not saying you uh, it will decrease your dps but it's just with mighty you will be even more stronger but i don't know just uh, it's a it's it's just giving a middle finger to Dunmers, you know. It's just not uh, very good. I'm just gonna open these. But do I need to? I don't think I need to. Anyways, um, let's go to items. Um, now, uh, PTS gives you his spark, uh, so I got his spark for now. Hunting Sage didn't change. Uh, Quatch Gladiator. Okay, um, this is crafted, so heavy, medium, light, whatever you want. Your light and heavy attacks, uh, let's just repeat the thing. Uh, weapon critical, weapon critical, weapon damage. Your light and heavy attacks deal an additional 660 weapon damage to targets below 25% health. Uh, now, I think this is complete bullshit because uh, 4 piece is good, but um, 5 piece after the 25%, the combat uh, just finishes in probably 30 seconds right everyone is executing and the dps is insane boss will go down so fast so i don't think for that um for that little time you are increasing your increasing damage of your light and heavy attacks i think that's absolute bullshit no one will ever use it uh julianos is same yeah penance aptitude um this is the most bullshit uh, set in the game. Uh, Zenimax is trying to uh, uh, lead people to playing hybrid wheels, uh, but they do miss something. Uh, what this set does is like this. Uh, as you see, I have more weapon damage and less spell damage. Do I have that? Yeah. No. these and as you see 
my spell damage while is less so uh, lower uh, damage stat scales uh, goes up to the highest one higher one okay uh, so uh, let's say if you have uh, 3k weapon damage and 2k spell damage if you wear this set you will have 3k spell damage and 3k weapon damage okay this is for hybrid builds uh, like stamina templars using radiant destruction or stamina sorcerers using overload uh, more effectively uh, but they do miss something uh, skills scale with the resource uh, I mean for example this is scaling with magicka right uh, more magicka I have more damage volatile armor does uh, or choking talons does if they uh, remove the resource scaling of uh, damage of the skills this set uh, would be very nice it would be actually uh, viable to play hybrid wheels but with resource scaling just no no any you can be strong uh, as as however you want uh, a pure magicka or pure stamina will be always more stronger than you and you can't be even near them okay they will be uh, fucking you up you can't do shit with the set I'm, I'm sorry but if you if you don't remove resource scaling this set is absolute garbage just no Okay, let's continue. Uh, Varan's legacy. Uh, maximum health, maximum stamina, healing taken, 10% chance on block that the next area of, area of effect attack you will use will deal an additional 3,300 damage. Um, this is a uh, obvious the tanking set, but off tank but useless off tank who what kind of tank using area of effect I, d I don't I don't see any um, use in this set I just don't see any use no The guild entrance willpower they are still the same no change in maelstrom no new monster set flanking strategies okay this is the most uh, useful set um, maximum stamina weapon critical weapon damage and this is the best thing uh, attacks from behind an enemy gain an additional 330 weapon damage okay this is the best stamina dd set for pve because you will always be behind the boss okay imagine uh hunting stretch okay okay just uh imagine hunting stretch it gives maximum stamina weapon critical weapon critical and 300 weapon damage if you play right if you don't look at the face of the boss like a stupid like stu like a, I don't know if you stay behind the boss you will gain insane damage okay this set is the beast I don't know how you get it uh, probably from the dark brother dailies I I will do the dailies uh, a lot and get the set this set is this set will be best in slot. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, maybe not in Mao Floor Cash, but think of other every situation. You are behind the enemy all the time. This set is insane. Okay, hide off Mori House. Um, this is heavy, maximum health, physical resistance, maximum stamina. Rolling through enemies deals. 
2K physical damage and knocks them down. Okay, uh, the thing I don't like about the set is it wants you to roll. Uh, heavy armor users don't have anything uh, they can benefit from rolling. You can heavy armor users block and take hits like a, a boss, right? Th that's what they do. That's their purpose. Not rolling through. This should be a medium set, not heavy. I mean, you don't have any uh, sustain with a heavy armor. So, but I don't know why, but I I don't like this set. Any heavy armor user will just use magical ability like fossilize to stun the enemy. Not rolling through. City's touch. Um, heavy, medium, light. Is is that comes in all as well? No, it's heavy. This is this is medium. Okay, this comes in heavy, light, and also medium. Okay, nice. Maximum health, maximum health. Weapon critical, spell critical. Using the blade of war grants major berserk for six seconds. Okay. Uh, you may just say what is Blade of War. Um, Blade of War is uh, something you can do only in PvE situations. This is not a PvP set. I'm saying uh, Blade of War is like this. Uh, let's say this is a normal NPC, not a um, not a merchant. I go hidden, and there will be a proc. Uh, and when I use the proc, I will kill uh, kill her instantly. Okay, you may see, uh, you may have seen it in the trial. It looks like um, random slashes animation, but you slit the throat of your enemy from behind. So it it looks cool, but uh, it also when you kill someone, it means when you assassinate someone, you get major birds. Like uh, I don't see any use in the set. Just no. Um, yeah, these are the important shits. Uh, as you know, they are scaling Sanctum of Video to Veteran 16, uh, and these are the items that drop from there. Uh, Draw King Slayer, this was uh, scaled to um, Veteran 12 or 14, I'm not sure. Uh, this is heavy armor. Uh, let's see what it gives. Uh, weapon damage. Weapon damage, weapon critical, killing an enemy grants you major expedition for 10 seconds, increasing your movement speed by 30%. So it's more like a PvP set. Uh, grants major brutality, increasing your weapon damage by 20%. Um, so it possibly gives you the major brutality. So uh, if you are not using a two-hander or dual wield and not using weapon damage portions. Uh, this is the set for you. This is absolute. Uh, this is obviously the PvP set, major expedition and shit. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, maybe in PvE you can use it like this: uh, five piece medium and two piece heavy with draw king. Uh, I don't know how you can pull that off, but it may work. We don't. We can't know that. Uh, elegance. Uh, light armor. Um, okay, this is this look nice. Two piece spell damage, maximum magical, maximum magical light attack and heavy attack damage increased by twenty percent. Okay, this looks very nice. Uh, because as you know, maelstrom destruction stuff. Uh, when you use wall of elements, they increase your light attack damage a lot. Uh, if you combine it with this set, I don't know what would happen, but probably uh, most of the players will use it uh, in two piece, just two piece, nothing else. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna see, I guess. Eternal Yokeda. Okay, this is heavy armor. Um, healing taken, minor ages. Uh, take. 
five percent less damage from boss monsters. Uh, again, maximum health. When you die, you instead turn into a statue for three seconds and gain two hundred ultimate. While a statue, you are immune to all negative effects. You can still be healed. Uh, this effect can. This effect has a cooldown of ten minutes. Uh, also, again, one more healing taken. Uh, now, uh, this is obviously a PVE set with minor ages. Um, this is designed for DKs, okay? Because magma armor, uh, you gain two hundred ultimate. Two hundred mean two hundred ultimate is the it's just the cost of magma armor. Uh, this set is giving you uh, the second chance uh, for not fucking up. Uh, these sets like Phoenix uh, and this one I don't like is because if you are dying uh, you're gonna die again because you are obviously doing something wrong. Just learn the mechanic and don't die and use something more useful. Uh, this is not the way to go, I think. Uh, Infallible Ether. Uh, this is medium armor. Um, spell crit. What? Medium armor and spell crit. The fuck? Grants minor slayer, causing your attacks to deal 5% more damage to boss monsters. Adds 124 spell damage spell damage in medium armor your fully charged heavy attacks do an additional 500 damage 500 it should say at least 10k because when you do light attack you lose dps because it's slow as fuck 500 damage really Enemies you damage with fully charged heavy attacks are afflicted with minor vulnerability for 10 seconds, increasing their damage taken by 8%. Uh, also, another spell critical. Okay, the 5 piece is actually good. Minor uh, vulnerability is, is a very good debuff. Uh, but, there is another way to get this and I will uh, show you how. This set is not the way to get that debuff. Um, nightmare. Okay, this is heavy armor, physical resistance, maximum health, weapon damage, 20% chance of melee attack to apply minor maim to nearby enemies for 5 seconds, reducing the damage they deal by 15%. Um, for DK, this is absolute bullshit because we have talons. Um, and in AV situations, you don't have to um, reduce the damage because if they're hitting really really hard um, there won't be so many so there's always a way to survive without applying minor main uh, if you are also you are using heroic slash um, uh, you should be at least it, it, it also deals minor main so i i don't think this is this is a pvp set not a pve set yeah probably weapon damage and shit shadow dancers uh whatever shadow dancer maximum magicka maximum magicka spell damage this is light armor right yeah uh ignore movement speed penalty while sneaking it's stamina recovery uh, okay 4 piece is good but 5 piece is absolute bullshit because uh, who the fuck using a I, I don't know man magical knight blades are still moving very fast in stealth uh, I, I don't know how someone can use this Uh, skirmishers bite. Okay, this set is the beast. This is the probably best uh, set for a stamina PvP. Uh, stamina recovery. 
weapon critical maximum stamina and this was the uh, best set in the times where there wasn't any roll dodge uh, penalty uh, because you are always roll dodging and getting the weapon damage and critical uh, using roll dodge increase your weapon damage by 400 and weapon critical by 600 for 8 seconds just you just roll dodge and kill shit that's the, that's the way how you do roll dodge kill roll dodge kill that's the combo this is this is the this is a very nice set uh, when sanctum drops uh, I, I I'm I really want to uh, try the set in PvP <coughs> this is a very good set very good uh, vicious obedient this is light armor Sh why why is it light what the fuck is this I think they mixed it up man Th this th was it this no this yeah this should be light and this should be medium I think they mixed it up F I think they fucked up a bit I don't think because no one will use this okay two item weapon critical uh, minor slayer weapon critical reduce cost of stamina abilities when you kill an enemy you restore 2k stamina and gain major expedition increasing your movement speed by 30% also adds weapon damage no one will use this set no one wipers sting uh, your melee attacks deal uh, let's say 8k poison damage this effect can occur every uh, once every four seconds okay so if you say 8k uh, it's a solid 2k dps uh, but I don't think it will be better than uh, what what was that with flanking tac tactician flanking strategist yeah I don't think it will be better than that um, weapon critical maximum stamina weapon critical uh, the four piece is nice but not not actually the night mother is better I don't know um galerion's revenge okay these are uh light medium heavy and you can purchase this with telvar uh, spell critical magical recovery spell damage when you hit an enemy with a light or heavy attack they you put a mark of revenge on them for 15 seconds after stacking six marks on a target they will detonate for <laughs> i'm sorry uh, let's say 7k magic damage uh, now the thing I wonder is uh, what does detonate mean here is it like explosion that will deal every damage or just single target explosion uh, someone needs to test this uh, it can change because obviously wishes that is much better but this can be uh, useful in the Zerg busting if the uh, explosion is AOE damage. Imperial Physic. Uh, this is light, heavy, medium again. Stamina recovery, magical recovery, another hybrid fucking set. Weapon and spell damage. While you are in Imperial City, you tap into the power of the Talwar stones you are carrying, increasing your health, magic, and stamina by 1k. Oh shit, uh, while you have 4k Talvar Storm multiplier, uh, 4 times, I'm sorry, the effect is increased by 600%. Shit. Okay, the this set shows me this. Uh, Imperial City Zerks running this set. All of them are 30k health dealing shit ton of damage and have sustain also they will just take 10k from the bank and go 
kill shit in the servers. Uh, this thing is actually nice. If you see someone with 30k health or 35, you just know they they are carrying lots of terror. This is nice. I like this. <coughs> Tears of the Harbinger. Harbinger. Har. I almost read it like Harbinger. Whatever. Uh, this is heavy, light, medium. Uh, maximum health, maximum health, maximum stamina. When you successfully block an attack with no duration, you deal damage to your attacker equal to. 5% of your current health current volume 1.3k physical damage okay this is this is very nice uh, this is a build uh, I, I I already imagined the build uh, 60k health running this uh, item okay let's see how much health I have 25 um, Where's that set? Uh, it deals 1.5k damage. Let's just uh, roll it. Uh, I will have, if I have two times more health, every block I do will deal 3k damage. But uh, I think this set should be uh, used on a Templar because it says. Uh, deal damage to your attacker equal to 5% of your current health, not your maximum health. So, uh, this should be used by a class that has self-healing, like a Templar. I, I like this set, this is very nice. This is nice. Uh, Vice Cannon of Venom. Uh, heavy Light Medium again. Maximum stamina, weapon damage, stamina recovery, design. Okay, your attacks from stealth. Oh shit, ganking. Uh, inject a leeching poison that deals 17k poison damage. What? Over 15 seconds and heals you for the damage done. Okay. Uh, ganking is uh, fucking OP right now. Um, if you use this set <coughs> 16k poison damage over 15 seconds so I, I, I don't know I, it just looks very strong man yeah uh, just imagine you are just running owning your damn business and someone throws you shit and you are left with 30 percent and you say yeah i survived from a gang but no you are fucked because the poison and the ganker will just jump on you and will put more pressure and he's gonna heal himself as well you just have to be uh, defensive while just running around or you are fucked. This is a good ganking set, but I, I don't know. It looks a bit overpowered. But this is a nice set, but nice set. Um. Okay, I want to show you traits. Uh, I am very excited about this. No. Okay. Here we go. Okay, weapons. Okay, healer trait. Healing done 1.5%. Um, I want you to just take a look at this, okay? It uh, goes by 0.5% every time you do an upgrade. So, 2, 2.5, um, 3, 3.5. So, if you are using the restoration stuff, uh, it will be 7% more healing. Um, if I was a healer, I would use this instead of precise. This is, uh, 
this looks very good. <clears throat> um, let's go to the next one. Charged. Increase your chance to apply status effects by 70%. Um, like burning and poison, right? Uh, whenever I uh, go with my stem decay, I just know the. I always see the burning effect on the leave server, but not right now. I don't. But I'm sure I will. Uh, I'm applying poison immediately. I don't think we need this. Uh, precise is most common. Infused. Increase weapon enchantment effect by 8% and reduce enchantment cooldown by 40%. Um, just thinking if it could be used with weapon damage enchant, but uh, no. Precise would be better, I think, or sharpened. Defending. Increase physical and spell resistance by whatever. Um, this is not good because it will go up to uh, two two k something like that. Two two point two k, I think. Yeah, I uh, I did the shit and you will see right now. As you see, um, it just goes like hundred more resistance. It's just bullshit. Uh, training. Okay, this is the best thing that come to the game. Uh, not the best thing we are coming to the best thing uh, this is nice the, with the you don't have to uh, green through veteran uh, levels anymore and the maximum level is 50 you just make a set of training items and just green and make your character level 50 in one or two days this is very good and also you can do this on your armor very nice set uh, very nice trait actually uh, sharpened uh, this is exactly the same with defending defending uh, how much defending gives you uh, sharpened will give that much penetration like 2.2 K something like that okay this is a, this is the uh, best for tanks when you gain ultimate you have 9% chance to gain uh, one additional ultimate now I will show you um, the yellow sword I did 17% chance to gain one additional ultimate 17% this is just insane just very good yep. I can't even imagine how how strong my DK tank will be you know this is just a, a bit overpowered I think it should be toned down a bit like 10% 17 is a bit more a bit uh, too strong okay Nirnhorn uh, doesn't uh, give you spell penetration right now it just increase the damage of weapon uh, like you can see like this this is not giving any damage uh, both are legendary yellow this has 1k and 48 uh, this has 1k 269 it's more than 200 weapon damage okay this uh, this may be better than uh, precise or sharpened uh, we need to test this like I, I don't know we really need to test this one also as you know my strong weapons will drop in Nirnhorn so uh, this will be very good Okay, these are the weapon traits. Let's go to. Okay, sturdy. Do I have any yellow? No. Okay, let's just craft one. Um, yeah, chest, whatever. Okay, it goes 0.5 percent each time you. Yeah, I have one here. Uh, at legendary, you have three percent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, eight times three. You can reduce cost of your block 
24% at total so uh, they uh, removed our heavy armor passive which was 20% but they give us this <coughs> I don't know if it's good or not because I was using divines and infused on my gear now I won't be using that Uh, this is not good. Uh, I would prefer bracing to be um, stay in that place. Just add the weapon damage on top of it, right? Uh, I don't like uh, how they do to the PVE tanks. Okay, next one, impenetrable. Uh, I have some. Yeah, I have one here. Two fifty-two. Uh, I don't know how m how uh, what is the percentage of this. Uh, but if you are if you know, just uh, whatever. You get the point. Uh, Reinforce is an absolute crap. Uh, well fits. Do I have well fits? Okay, it goes like uh, one percent each upgrade. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, well fit. Uh, if you are using 8 piece, uh, 8 times 5, you can <coughs> reduce cost of your sprinting and roll dodge by 40%. I'm sorry, 35, is it? Yeah, 35. Uh, training experience gained from kills 7%. This is very nice. Uh, Forty-nine percent, and you get one from your weapon. So much more. Infused increase armor enchantment effect by eight percent. Eight? Does it go up to? Do Do we have a infused here? now okay let's craft one and let's see how much it will go okay 11 it should be 20 if I'm not wrong yeah 17 and 20 yeah 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 it's 20 percent more uh, enchant uh, prosperous increase gold gain from looting enemies by 2.5 um, I didn't read anything in the patch notes that they increased the uh, gold drop uh, from the monsters or enemies whatever uh, even bosses don't drop a huge amount of gold you know why use this I don't know uh, device, you know, device best in slot. Nirnhorn physical and spell resistance by 200. What the fuck is this? It's just. I'm joking right now. I, do, I can't understand uh, why someone would use this. It's just absolute crap. Okay, these are the traits. Uh, I think I showed them all weapon and armor traits. Uh, no. We're gonna go uh, see poison making. Uh, now, I did some poisons. Uh, when you take this, this, uh, if you don't have uh, any points in this one, you're gonna create four poison. Okay? With every point spent into chemistry, uh, in the maximum chemistry, you will create 16 in uh, one attempt okay so it goes like this 4 8 12 and 16 so i'm gonna uh, show you the best uh, poison a tank can use <coughs> um yeah it's here i already did it uh, alkahest is is dropping a lot actually i just killed uh uh, few trolls in the Cyrodiil 
and every one of them every one of them dropped four or five alkahest okay this is not rare if it's goalie like this you you can't find this anywhere so uh mud crab chitin and beetle scuttle okay this is the best poison a tank can use drains major resolve from your victim uh, reducing their armor and increasing your armor by you know shit loss just uh, immobile or volatile armor buff so you don't have to use any resist major resist buff with thanks to this uh, inflicts minor vul uh, vulnerability increasing damage your victim takes by 8% this is obviously should be used uh, as a tank you know also grants you minor protection reducing your damage taken by 8% what the fuck this is this is the best tanking poison uh, someone uh, can use now I will uh, show you how it works just gonna create some I have already but I'm just gonna create some because it's awesome uh -huh. now I'm gonna show you other ones as well uh, now how do you use this uh, as you see maelstrom sword uh, rampaging slash enchantment it's the shittiest enchantment in the game uh, when you put this here uh, every light attack you do and heavy attack uh, has a chance to proc this poison and you will see it very cl clearly and I will show it uh, how it procs uh, when you put it here um, the enchantment goes away so uh, you don't get anything from maelstrom um, what you uh, can use also for uh, other poisons I could create is uh, like this one this whatever poison damage per second for 10 seconds uh, this is very good I mean this is free DPS guys free DPS um, defile in major minor defile reducing heal healing of your victim takes it's a PvP item um, okay this is the improved version okay this is the best poison for pvp i think uh, deals poison damage heals you uh, reduces take the healing your enemy take by 15% and increase your healing uh, taken by 30% i mean how fucked up is that if you have uh, i think this will be very expensive uh, I'm not sure why because it's very overpowered it just looks like it's very overpowered anyways just this is the best I think okay let's see if I have any more okay this is the not armor giving version of mine as you see anything else drains my major vitality from your victim okay we know this we know this as well okay these are the poisons I could create uh, standard DPS will probably use this um, I don't think they will use this because one strong weapons are better and also a uh, crusher and weapon damage and chance will probably uh, deal more damage than this so okay I will show you the uh, right now okay, let's just sort some skills here um, oh shit I have okay then I will just uh, go like this no no right here here and what do I slot here I don't know Ah, yeah. And downbreakers. 
um, trolley reverse executioner credit rush let's take these as well yeah credit rush right here um rigor and fossilize yeah and also chorus armor here okay now let's put this here as well uh, also use this okay i have 30k health this is very much like my build um let's go here now you will see the um insane power of poison that i'm using this is the best for pve tanking <coughs> also maybe the best for pvp also pvp tanking okay i need to find those Trolls again. Okay, I think they were there somewhere. <coughs> uh, I wanna talk about the weapon traits, the the, the decisive, the weighted uh, weapon trait. Uh, just imagine Tawas favor blood spawn uh, the standard ultimate regeneration step setup and using uh, the new traits on your weapons I mean you you will be just uh, using the horn all the time man all the time okay I see the throws there Now you're gonna see. Okay, 21k physical resistance. Proc. You will see the proc very clearly. Yeah, you see that blue blue thing. As you see, I have I had 176. Yeah, one less. 174. 173 and as you see I have my physical resistance upped very good thing right here this is just insane I'm just gonna kill this one Why am I fucking up my... Yeah. As you see, uh, 5 poison solvent dropped. This is just... Uh, very good. And I wanna show you the new flurry as well. Do I have hunting switch? Yes. Okay, do I have Maelstrom weapons? Yes, I do. Um, precise and sharpened. Yes, thank you. Um, do I build Rending Slash? Rapid Strikes. Um, what else do I use? When I... What the fuck? Okay, this is here. What was my... Okay. And also, I need a bow. <coughs> 
this goes here, this goes here. Um, Guild, rearming trap, alliance for call drops, and let's take this here. Take this here. Yeah. yeah. As you see, it just shows uh, invisibles, evil hunters. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it it does uh, reduce the stamina cost of itself. Uh, uh, just look at this about 3k one and half okay you get the point just look at the speed look at the fucking speed Uh, I know I don't use my strong weapons, right? But it doesn't matter. Just what the fuck? Just I want you to look at the speed, nothing else. It's just insane. Just what the fuck? Guardian of the air. No, they didn't scale it. <coughs> As you see, again, 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 Alkesh. Al wh what was that? Al Alkahest, whatever. Uh, I want to show you the rune, but uh, I'll just tell you how it works. Um, as you know, there were... Uh, uh, what was that? Aspect, Essence and Potency runes, right? Uh, when you uh, just find the rune w uh, in open world, they will drop Essence and uh, Aspect rune together uh, for example I opened one and uh, it dropped me one Oko where's that one Oko one Rekuta and one Ta I get three of these from one runestone uh, you get the potency from uh, vendors okay that's it uh, they are making things easier and I kinda like that so that's okay uh, anyways uh, I hope you like it if you have any questions or want me to test anything uh, tanking related uh, just leave a comment and I will try to test it okay then see you soon